Welcome, White House Education Consultants. I'm Dr. Brian. We have, uh, hey, I want to be an academic doctor. And this is in particular a program we have for students who are aspiring to a higher level in college. Everybody, though, before we get into it, take a moment to click on the link below. Join our email list. You'll get a lot of free tips, some coupons for our program, some videos we found that we think will really help you out uh, academically. So into the program itself. What the program does is it explains the master's and the doctorate program uh, that could be available for you. Uh, there's a discussion of the thesis and the dissertation process, and I know there are times where there are certain master's programs where you, you don't do a thesis, uh, but almost every doctoral program that I know of is going to do a dissertation. So it talks about what those processes are, it talks about the committee members, the chairperson, uh, the scholarly writing that's available and the ethical research you'll have to do during it. Now, one thing about that committee and the chairperson, it's gonna depend on the school you go to. They may use different names. The school I went to, they were called a mentor. It, it, it's just up to the school. They, they all like to give it their own little name. Uh, also, the combination of people. Uh, the program I went through, I, I had four people on my committee. Uh, I've seen people go through the oral defense. They have five people on their committee. I've heard of some schools doing this few as two or three. So it's just, really, it's going to depend on your school. But we're going to talk about your proposal, and in particular, how to develop your topic and get it into a proposal. And one thing with the proposal is usually the proposal is the first three chapters. Here's all the stuff I want to do. Usually at this time, the school steps in and says, all right, we've got to approve this first. And they have different review boards. And again, each school's going to be calling it something differently. But they're going to make sure you're not going to hurt anybody and that it's already written those chapters at that academic level. So the chapters for each section are pretty simple. Uh, chapter one is going to be your introduction. Chapter two will be your literature review. Chapter three is going to be your methodology used. Chapter four will be your results. And then chapter five is your conclusions. Now, I say that, and I've seen it where the lit review is first. I've seen it where the methodology is first. And then I've seen it where they follow this order. So it's going to depend on your school, and your school's probably going to have um, a format for you to follow, and that's where your chairperson, person who, who leads your dissertation uh, from the university standpoint, will help you out. The program also offers some dissertation writing tips, and these are ways to, to help you get through the process. And I'll be the first one to tell you, my dissertation is about 210 pages. And I didn't sit down one night and just start typing whenever it took me to get 210. I had to have a plan and a way to attack it where I worked on section by section. A lot of times I'd work on a section, turn it in, then I'd go to another section and work on that for a while and turn that in. And by the time I was turning that one in, another one was coming back to me with edits and changes and different stuff until I got done. We'll talk about the, these plans. Well, also, and this was my savior. It was a template that was I developed for Chapter 2. And all the information that needs to go in the, that lit review. And once I figured it out, once I knew how to put it in there, writing Chapter 2 became the easiest thing in the world. And I struggled with Chapter 2. I really did. For almost a year. And then finally, when it all clicked for me, when it all made sense, it took less than a month for me to go in, change up everything I'd done wrong to what I'd done right. And it was approved by my committee person, my chairman, within another month so it took no time but i needed to figure it out i'm taking that out of the way for him it's just showing you how to use it and what's available talk about the oral defense process who's involved what it takes some schools make you publish some make you do presentations and that's going to depend on your school uh, it's going to depend on what what requirements are there and then finally you're going to need your dean to sign also there will be signatures from um your chair people, your committee people, do they sign it all in one day? And I know some schools, they get all the signatures on rural defense days. Some schools say, whoa, no, we're going to do it on this day. So it's just going to depend on what your school does, what is required of you. So thanks. Look at the program. It will help you. Look for other Lighthouse programs. We have stuff on goal setting, time management, study skills, and we're developing one right now on writing. Please click on the link below and sign up for our email list. Again, it will give you uh, four free webinars, learning styles, brain games, brain dump, and uh, the support system. But you, you're going to get a lot of emails about, you know, 
here's an academic thing. And I'll try to give you an example. <laughs> uh, you know, I came up with one the other day, an article I was reading, it's on math tips. You know, I can just send that link along to it so you can help out. We see videos all the time. And then good luck in reaching all your educational goals.